Well, greetings and welcome, welcome, welcome once again to Coffee with Cade. I'm excited to be your host. My name is Kristen Young, Communications Coordinator of the Cade Foundation, and it is time once again for Coffee with Cade. So I am excited to bring to you another amazing guest um, who's going to share, share with us a little bit about her story with, with infertility and tell you a little bit about what she has going on. Um, we, we're just excited. We're excited, y'all. This is, this is an exciting time for us. And we want to make sure you continue to uh, get the information, get the resources that you need so that you have hope for overcoming. So I have for you, Miss Lalita Harlem. How are you? I am doing great. I am so excited to be here. So excited to talk with you. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's amazing because we um, we have never met in person. We just met uh, not too long ago on social media simply because a, a mutual friend shared on Facebook and she just said, listen, I know people, we can connect people. This is what social media is all about. Who has what kind of podcast? What's going on? And I just posted on there. I said, hey, well, I host Coffee with Kate and on behalf of the Kate Foundation, and we support families overcoming infertility. And Lolita came right back in and said, wait a minute. I think I know something. I might have something to share. So I am so grateful for you to, um, to reach for reaching out. Yeah. And here we are. Here we are. Yes. Yeah. Make things happen. Yes, I love it. I love it. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about your story. What compelled you to uh, to to reach out and be able to share, um, and and just a little bit about your background when it comes to infertility. Yeah, you know, it's first of all, I'm just glad that there's a platform that's even talking about this, um, because you know, as a woman, we we all kind of have heard, you know, the goal is to get married and have children and all of that. And so when that doesn't happen, you know, and when it's your, when you feel like it's your body fighting against your dreams and your goals, it can be so depressing and challenging. And so, you know, my experience with it is something that I definitely want to share more and talk about because I want women to understand that we are still women. We're still, you know, we still have a family. We're still whole, even if we're dealing with this. Um, and so for me, it's something that my husband and I desperately have tried to work on, you know, from getting married. We're in our seventh year of marriage and mm -hmm. it just, you know, was, has not been possible um, mm -hmm. in, in dealing with the infertility and, and then actually getting pregnant once and being excited about that, but only to then have it end in a miscarriage um, mm -hmm. and not being able to get pregnant after that. So it's a lot. It's a lot. And that's why I'm any platform that I can just talk about these type of issues, whether it's not being able to get pregnant or even the miscarriage portion, um, I'm jumping on it because I just really that's that's really my whole background and my mission is to empower women. Um, I have the acronym HER because it's for honor, empower and refresh. And that's really what my natural me, which is my company, is really all about. I and that is because there are so many people who are in a space where they um, are not comfortable sharing their story. They're in a space where they feel ashamed because I've had this diagnosis. Um, what's wrong with me? Uh, why, like you said, my body is fighting against me. Um, I'm, I'm a woman. Why can't I do this natural thing? You know, what's what's happening? And and the, the truth is, I think at some point, anybody who, who is, is maybe born with a with a disability um, or, or develops a disability along the way, any type of long term or chronic illness, we all have those moments where it's like, why me? Why is this happening? Why can't I do the natural things that everybody else can do? Yeah. And it's simply just a reminder of how unique we are and how we all have a purpose. We are all born with a mission and we don't always know what that thing is. And, but more often than not, our greatest struggle is the thing that we that God has put in, into us and, and the thing that we are expected to use to support others, 
to give yeah. light to others, to be able to shine on the rest of this world. So That's I think right. that it's so awesome that you have been, were, well, actually, let me ask you this. Were you upfront were, from the very beginning? Were you very open about your, your uh, diagnosis and your, your story and your journey upfront? Or did that take you a while to uh, begin talking about it? You know, I, I'm, I pretty much am very transparent. Um, and so I'm a person that I always believe that, well, I should say, once I started talking about just various stories and various challenges, um, I've, I believe in just being open and transparent. And that's really where freedom comes in. I feel like truth equals freedom. And so even with my husband and I, you know, when we were dating, we talked about, you know, options, we talked about challenges, things like that. Um, you know, and we still had a measure of hope that maybe there were some other things that could help change that. But ultimately, um, every step of the way, I've, I've been open, especially once I had the miscarriage, because of course, that brought about all this hope and like, oh, maybe things are, are different. But to go through that, you know, um, I, I believe in speaking my truth, uh, because again, it, it helps other people know that they can talk to me too, especially people who look like me. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. And, it, and it's, it's true. It's, it's so true. Once again, we, we have to hear each other's stories. We have to know what's going on. Um, and like I said, there's, there's some people who are just not comfortable or have to build up to that yeah. level of freedom to yeah. be able to say, this is my story. This is yeah. my uniqueness. I, I stand on it. And my mission is to support someone else. So, um, so kudos to you. So tell me a little bit about how you continue to share your story, because I heard something about some, some pivotal moments. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I do. So what I was have that a pivotal <laughs> moment for you? <laughs> well, I have a video series uh, called Pivotal Moments, and really it's about people from around the world sharing their stories of something that was a pivotal moment for them. Um, and I feel like I'm in such an honored seat because I get to hear so many various stories of courage and strength and people sharing just different things that they've gone through that completely changed the trajectory of their life. And so for me, um, it's that's even been even more empowering for me to share this, you know, this particular moment of just dealing with infertility, miscarriages, um, things like that. So, you know, um, the show, like I said, it's a weekly video show, but then there's also more things that I have in the works uh, to really bring a voice to this. Um, I'm working on my third book, which is really talking about the miscarriage aspect. Um, and then I have another book after that in process, which I'll tell you the whole goal of this fourth book is to help women understand that you are still a woman, whether you're dealing with, you know, aging, whether you're dealing with, you know, pregnancy issues and fertility. I really want my women to understand that you are still whole, you're still a woman. And I'm going to be talking about that in the fourth book. So I have some exciting things to get, again, to just get the conversation going. I love it. I love it. And that is so awesome. Um, as you said, we, we just need more voices. We need more community to be able to say, we're here, we support you. Um, so, so thank you. Thank you for that. So tell us, where can we find Pivotal Moments? Where can we find more information if any of our viewers want to connect with you? Absolutely. Definitely. Please look me up. So everything is on my website, which is lilitaharlem.com. So it is my, my name. <laughs> Um, the books are there. Um, I also have a, a custom box making business uh, because again, that kind of covers the R of refreshing and making people feel good. So um, again, if you're looking for any of the products and all of that and any of the things that I'm involved in, you can go to my website, which is www.lilitaharlem.com. Awesome. Ah. And that's Lilita, L-I-L-E-T-T-A. Yes. Harlem, H-A-R-L-E-M dot com. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, Lolita, this, I, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> and we're almost out of time already. I know. Uh, this, this time goes so quick, but we just want to make sure all of our viewers understand that we are here 
every first and third Monday at 12 noon Eastern time, just to share some information, some inspiration to support you on your journey of overcoming. And that's what the Cade Foundation is all about. We do have our Cade Foundation grant that will be closing soon. We, uh, July 1st, July 1st is our closing date for the grant. So if you are in a space where you're saying, I am an overcomer, I am speaking it, I just need that extra support, go to cadefoundation.org slash grants and apply for your grant today. You still have time, you still have hope, and we are here to support you. So do not hesitate with making sure you complete that grant application, get your information in so we can support you. So last thing, because I know this is Coffee with Kate, we got to make sure we ask you, Lolita, what is in your cup? Well, I finished my coffee before our chat. <laughs> so I rounded it off with a little water. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Yes, I'm, I, I have, I have the, the smidgens, the last droplets of, of coffee cup number two uh, that I'm hanging on to. Plus, I, I always got to keep my water handy. There you go. And, and right there by. So I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you, Lolita. Once again, we appreciate you. Thank you to all of our viewers. We appreciate you for continuing to uh, support Cade Foundation. Make sure you share this video, share this video, and share this video. And then, of course, like us on Facebook, like us on Instagram. Y'all, we're on TikTok, y'all. We are hustling out here. We are making sure we get this information out here. So make sure you follow us on all social media streams. Um, these videos are on YouTube. Follow our YouTube page. Like us, love us, all of that good stuff. And if you have any questions, make sure you go to kfoundation.org for all of our upcoming events. As I mentioned, our grant information and any other way that we can support you, please let us know. Thank you so much and we will see you next time.